Prince William's got roads. Everybody who lives here knows we've got roads, but we've also got trails. A lot of our trails are built by VDOT because when they put in a new highway like the 234 bypass, they are obligated to put in a trail. So we're building these asphalt trails and if you want the exercise, they're really great places. One of the opportunities for us is to consider the quality of our trails as well as the quantity of our trails. Some of those trails that we built along the highways, well, they built the guardrail over here, the trail here, and the traffic there. The net effect is you are going to get squished by the car before the car, before the car hits the guardrail. We ought to be considering building trails that offer an experience other than inhaling the fumes from cars. We could be building a trails network in Prince William County for bicyclists and for pedestrians that offers a tremendously enriching experience through our parks, through our green areas. Access to schools by trail would make a lot of sense. The buses aren't supposed to pick the kids up right next to the schools, but it's hard for the kids to get to the schools because there's no walking path from community subdivisions to the schools. So if we were to take another look at our approach to building trails, we might build a different type of trail. We have a Trails and Blue Ways Council. It is a group that's part of county government that has some expertise. We have other groups in the county that are actively involved in pedestrian and trail planning and have expertise. We have the opportunity. Let's take advantage of it.